Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of DIY MMO where I make an MMO on YouTube because if I don't, who will? Um, so funny story, I'm, I'm starting these episodes with a lot of funny stories like the funny story, I, I was recording this episode on Tuesday and in the neighbourhood and rather like most of the province lost power for like an hour, that rhymes by the way, and my my um, uh, recording got corrupted, so that was fun. Unfortunately, it wasn't a very good episode, so you were spared by fate, basically, is what I'm saying. Today, we're going to add chat messages to, uh, to the game. So I've done a little preparation, so here's a little to-do thing. So we need character and usernames, which means that the dummy login server and the dummy character database server need to be aware of usernames because I'm using usernames right now instead of character names. Um, so I did that, that was what the episode was about and it wasn't very interesting. We need a chat window, so you see I've already prepared a little something here. And we need a chat message, which means we need a server chat message. 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 Too many messages. And we need a client chat message. Now the server needs to send the ID, the name and the message. Now I could just send the ID, but then if I ever do like a global um, thing, like if the client isn't aware of who that character is, then it wouldn't have a name. So I'm just sending both, but I'm also sending the ID because maybe at some point I want people to be able to click on, on, on the name and then pull up that character or something. I don't know. Yeah, and then the client chat message is just the chat message to the, is just the string to the server. So um, I prepared that too because we've we've done this already. It's not interesting to watch me see bleh, write words, use them, write the same boilerplate code over and over again. So I've I've right now I've bound the C key to sending a message. From, from the client to the server, and then the server should ping it back to everyone. So let's do that. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, the server gets a CL chat message received, length 19, and then I get an SE chat message in the client that says, hello chat. So, that works! Yay! I've also done a thing where... Um, this might be interesting, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Um, in the client... It's command line arguments to log in directly, so now we don't have to go through the, the login screen anymore, which saves so much time. Look at that FPS. So let's let's run you through this other stuff. So we have the network opcodes new in episode 11. That's this episode, everyone. SE chat message, CL chat message. And we have SE chat message. Technically, this should be SE chat message message, but I'm not going to do that because that is just too fucked up. Um, so it has the ID and the name of the message. I mean, this is all, we've done this before. Um, CL chat message is, is just the opcode uh, and the message. Um, so in the server, uh, in the game client, it goes to chat and then it goes to server.chat, which is this. Um, I'm gonna uncomment this now because this was just for testing. The client should display its own message locally, so it doesn't need to have it sent to it. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna show you guys. So the dummy login, it... There's a bunch of code here and it's not very interesting. And there's similar code in the dummy character database. So what I did was I make this data directory that all, all the clients and the servers use and I just made a flat file. So it starts off with one line that contains the last used ID and then it has the, the username with a pipe and then the ID. And the login server uses this, I mean quote unquote server because they're not real, and the character database server also just uses this. Um, this is this is a, a temporary thing. This is not meant to be used um, at length. And if you log in with a name that isn't in here, it just writes the name in the file with the next ID. So that's the thing. 
Okay, so chat window. Where is my chat window? Chat window. Uh, it's just a rectangle widget um, with height, bottom, color, yeah, all, 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 all that good stuff. So what we want is, first off, we need to have a text box in this. So we need to have children. We need to have children. I did not think that was that was a sentence I was gonna say on air today. But there you go. Um, actually, let's open this up because I keep forgetting how a text box works. Oh right. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we need a text box, so let's just have it at zero zero for now. Um, text box. That should not be a comma. Um, text boxes actually take padding, but I don't know if we're going to use padding, so let's not. Um, what? No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, what do I need? Name? Do I need a name? Eh, not, not, not yet. Um, yeah, height is going to be a problem because I don't know what the height is. Height. Um, so. Uh, the height, um, I had to look up how to do that, this was not useful at all, um, is this text box font and then get the font metrics for the current size, um, and then get the long line size, so that's what we want, with is bw parent width 1.0. Um, what else do we need that I haven't done a thing with? The font color should uh, default to white, I think. And let's just put in some test text to test it. Test! One, two, three. Uh, let's see if that works. Also has... Oh wait, it always has an ID. That's a, a UI framework thing. Um, you don't need to trouble yourself with that. It does not, in fact, work. That sucks. How? Why does this not work? Why? Why are you not work? Uh, so let's investigate why you not work. Why does this always happen? I I think I've prepared for an episode. And then things just completely fail to work in every way possible. I'm in the wrong directory. Of course I am. That keeps happening, doesn't it? But this also doesn't work. Did I do it wrong? Children. Children? Oh, I made it a thing instead of a thing. I am clearly not cut out for this kind of thing. Let's see if it works now. No, it doesn't. Name font size does not exist in the current context. Oh uh, yeah, okay. That's... I see what's going on here. So it's string self dot font size. Of course. And it still doesn't work. The best overloaded method match for get font metrics has some invalid arguments. Cannot convert from double to formatting. Are you kidding me? But I just tested this. Is this still wrong? No, now it works. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Um, buds, presumably. Whenever you don't know the answer, it's probably buds. So that works. And just take out the text so we can actually edit it. And now we can type things in here. Now, it's obviously not where we want it, so let's go and fix that, shall we? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, it was, it was a uh, GUI.window padding, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, but I can set the padding on the, on the text box, which is amazing. So that's, that's this then. And that should work, maybe? Maybe, baby? 
Well, that's not quite what I wanted. Um, I might need to add a uh, two to this. GUI times two. Now, do you work? Yeah, you work. That is a weird bug. I'm gonna have to fix that. And then, obviously, um, eh, it's quite a bit of padding, though, isn't it? It's quite a bit of padding. Uh, I'm not quite sure how happy I am with that. No, I'm not not quite sure how happy I am with that. I need a different padding, so let's just do that. Uh, GUI, GUI, window padding. Public, const, double, chat, window padding. Here's five. So that's half the padding, people. Half the padding. Chat, window padding. Chat, window padding. What's the time? Oh, only 15 minutes. I could still make this, she said, knowing full well that's a filthy, filthy lie. Also, notice how when I click here, I don't move. It's freaking amazing. It's freaking amazing, dude. Yeah, I think that's five. Five is about right. Now, we also want this to be at the bottom. As you do. I don't know why I closed that. That was dumb. I, there was literally no reason to do that. To set the bottom to zero. Does this work? Does that work? Is that a thing that works? No, that is not a thing that works. Why does that not work? Hmm. So what if I do Y is uh, height minus GUI dot window padding minus string self dot height. Is that going to work? Um, it works, but it's not where I wanted it to be. So that's interesting. Oh, because it's it's that. Now, now you work? Now you know work. What if I do like times 2.1? Hi. Why? What? What madness is this? Oh, because I'm setting it to window padding still. Okay. So then this needs to be times 2. And then, can you work? Okay, but you're still, still too big. Oh wait, because I'm doing minus minus this. That's another thing that you should do. Finally, see why it's useful to have this whole auto reloading thing in the jiggy. Because that would have taken me so long. Now, what we want is shit. That is not something I can easily do. <laughs> um, no, we don't want shit. Shit is not what we want, even though that's clearly the sentence that I made. That, that was uh, not the way it came out in my head. So let's look at this then. GUI is literally hell. I want to outsource this to like basically everyone. We want uh, on, on key down, I think. No, we want on capture key. Yeah. Uh, this should return true. No, we don't need this. But we need on key down. Yeah, I think we need this one. So we want, and this is why it's useful that I have this documentation thing, because I can't fucking remember anything. Uh, we want E, so that is the event. So we're, we're doing a lambda function here. That's another thing this, this framework can do. Um, and then we want. Where is it? No. So I added some temporary stuff here. Okay, we want socket.send. We can't do that. We cannot do that. So unfortunately, I am going to have to shut down the client and do this um, uh, like this. Um, so we have the GUI context that's down here. We want to add a method to do chatting. Um, so 
public void chat string message. And then we want socket. Are we not storing the socket? We are not storing the socket. Why would you do such a thing? So let's store the socket over here. Um, do you like socket is new socket and then pass that to, to the in-game container um, now we can actually do stuff so we want we deleted that but that's okay that's what undo is for uh, we want this and then we delete it again and then we move it right on over here and then we need to go to the, the interface and add oh wait it's right here I'm an idiot I say that a lot. You would think eventually I would stop being an idiot, but no. Just keeps on going. Uh, we want this, and then we want this to be the actual message. But if message dot has value true, um, actually message dot is null or empty true. Now we don't want to do this. So if we don't actually have a message, we don't want to send it because sending blank messages is for noobs. And then we want to go, we want to copy this. Always, always remember to copy this because you're going to have a bad time if you don't. Um, and then we want to uh, do, do, get this. Game.context.chat string self.text. And that should hopefully work. Okay. Test. That is not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted at all. Oh, it's it's doing it for every keystroke. That is interesting. No, it's not. It did send the message. That... <laughs> I am very confused. Like, it should do this for every message. So that's interesting. Now, what we want is um, go to this, and then we want key. So, key is a keyboard button with a code. Okay, I want keyboard button dot. Key from key code. Yeah, that's what I want. If key dot keyboard button from key code is e dot key dot code, and if that's key dot enter, then we want to chat. And we'll also add a console dot, dot write line in here. Escape the double quote. Chat plus string dot self dot text. Let's see if that works. This is this is my framework testing uh, thingy. Yeah, that's not what I want, meant to run at all. But now you've seen that, aren't you? Aren't you happy? You got a little behind the scenes look. Add stuff. Okay, so that works. But we don't want this to be multi line. That's what we don't want. False. You are not a multi line text box. In fact, you are very much not a multi line text box. Test. Chat test. Oh, yeah, because. But it's not sending it. Why are you no sending it? What's wrong with you? Oh, I added a not. Not nil or empty. See, I usually, I never use has value. I always use not nil or empty. And then I use nil or empty because I actually wanted it to be nil or empty for once and I still used a not. So that is, that is sometimes what happens. Uh, hey? Okay, cool. So that works. Because you, you see the message being received here. And theoretically, if there's someone else around, um, that would also work. 
technically I'm, I, I should probably turn this text box into like a custom control, but I am way too lazy for that. So string self.text is nothing! Presumably. I shut the damn server off again. Why do I always see that? That is not gonna unexpected token. What are you what are you on about? What are you on about? Oh, because I didn't escape this. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. So test. Um and then I should set the focus to not be focused, but that's a little niggling detail. Uh, so what we need, and I'm probably going to put a cut in here because you're going to see me fiddle with a lot of bunch of stuff again, is to put in a label as well. Yeah, so I'm going to put in a cut, and once I come back, there should be a label that displays the chat, hopefully. Okay? Okay. Okay, well that took a little bit longer than I expected. So I added a label, I named it messages. I also named this text input, but I named it messages. Um, I set the height to be the height of the parent minus the height of the text input. The width is the full width. Padding is the chat window padding. Can select is true because I think it's important to be able to copy and paste from the text chat in an MMO, even though the vast majority of them don't let you do that. Um, so it's a word, word wrap, so to, to not be auto-sized, and set it to be bottom aligned. So I also changed this a little bit. Instead of having a lot of, bunch of inline code here, I just call the manager's chat function, which is over here. The chat function um, calls the other chat function, which actually displays any kind of message from anyone. With, with my own ID. Also, I added a player, which just, it's just a player entity from the game. So the player's ID, the player's name, and the chat window's text input text. Because now when you uh, show the in-game GUI, it sets a variable to the chat window. So we always know how to find the chat window in the manager. Also, when you clear, uh, call clear the chat window is set to nil. Then we tell the game that we want to send a message, which is just over here, uh, which we already had. I just realized we set the input to nothing um, and we set the text for our text input to nothing. So let me just show you how that works. Test. So the server gets the message and it shows up here. You can copy paste it if you want. And if you want to write another message that is quite a bit longer and needs to be wrapped, you can totally do that too. So that's cool. We're not receiving messages yet, but um, I'm going to do that before we close up the episode. Uh, that is the server, so we don't want to close that. We don't want to close that at all. So I went in here and I added the, the chat method that the manager has to the interface that the game uses to talk to um, the GOI. So when we get uh, on chat message, what we want to do instead is GOI.chat message.id, message.name, message.message. And that is about all she wrote, I think. Um, of course, we can't test this with just the one client. So let's just open this and then go over here and do another one of those and what are we going to call our other client? I don't know. Let's call ourselves Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Aniko. Bob says hello, Aniko. Hi, Bob. Bob. Oh, I don't have it, so you can press enter to start chatting yet. How are you doing? Doing good, thanks. And you? I'm fine. 
can't talk now though, recording an episode for the YouTube peoples. Yeah, I don't know. So that is the chat. Um, we have chat, so basically this has now become an interactive... Yeah, let's just move off of Bob over there. Um, this is an interactive uh, thing now. You can move around and you can talk to each other. And just to show you that this does work. Apparently that doesn't work. What happens if I do it here? Oh, that's interesting. Why are you crashing? Current thread must be... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is a bit of an oversight. I need to do... Um, that's a, that's a, a clipboard thing. Where did I put that here? This is totally not interesting to any of you, but yeah, if you use the clipboard functionality in system.windows.forms, you need to have an SDA thread. I don't even know what that means, but if you don't, then it doesn't work. I just put it on point main. Okay, whatever. I don't give any shits. Okay, so let's just make sure that this works. So you can copy this and you can Hey, uh, isn't that cool? So, um, thank you all for watching. From both Bob and me, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!